This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at this interesting tool, Elicit. Primarily, you can use this for research purposes. So what they say over here is that you can ask a research question. Elicit will find answers from 175 million papers. Okay, or you can upload your own papers and you can run Elicit over them. So I wanted to, you know, ask a question regarding uh, what is the effect of probiotics on gut health? Probiotics on gut health. So this is my question. So what it does is that it searches, you know, a lot of papers and then it comes up like this, right? It uh, gives a summary over here and it says the impact of probiotics on gut health via alternation of immune status of monogastric animals, the impact of probiotic on gut health. So you get a lot of papers, right? Now you can also, you know, search by uh, outcomes measured. You can add the information from each of these papers. Okay. So this is like a literature survey on a particular topic. Okay. So for example, here in this paper, these were the outcomes which were measured. Intestinal immunity, intestinal diseases, growth performance, right? So here uh, for all these papers, it has actually created this outcomes which have been present in the paper, right? It has extracted that. You can look at interventions. So here uh, the intervention is probiotics. Uh, you can look at number of participants. Let's see what it throws up. So whenever it is able to extract, it throw, uh, shows up something. Otherwise, you know, here some 45. Uh, so role of probiotic cultures in control of, uh, you know, gastrointestinal, uh, gastrointestinal health. So here uh, this study had 45 participants. Okay. So it shows up like this, right? So this is kind of a literature, you know, uh, survey. You can also export the results as a CSV or BIP format. Okay. You can sort by, uh, let's see if year is there. Yes, uh, year is there and uh, descending. Okay. So you can uh, so sort by uh, latest uh, papers to older papers. Okay. So you can do these kind of things over here. Right. Now, if you s select a particular paper, um, there is this abstract which has been generated from this paper. Okay, so this is a generated abstract. So what I understand is that this particular tool makes use of GPT-3, uh, GPT-3.5 for, uh, you know, performing these tasks. Okay, so what did they test? Abstract summary, what did they uh, test? What are the outcomes they measured? Can I trust this paper? Uh, no mention found of study type, so it gives that. Possible critiques. Okay, we look at how this paper has been cited but could not find any uh, mentions of methodological flaws. Okay, other citations. So what are the other citations over here? So that is also listed over here. You can you know, look at more citations over here from these other papers. And from that you have these small extracts which have been pulled out over here. You can also ask a question about this paper and then it actually highlights in this abstract. If it is not available, it says it's not present. That's what I saw previously. Okay. So in this way, you can make use of this tool to perform your literature survey. Okay. You can also upload your own papers. For example, I tried uploading a paper over here, right? Uh, let me pull up a paper and uh, let's... Uh, you know, I have, I'm uploading a paper uh, which may not be visible for you because I'm only recording the browser screen, right? Uh, so let's see. Yeah, so let's analyze this particular paper. So it says instruction tuning with GPT-4. That was the paper which I uploaded and the abstract summary is uh, the instruction following data generated by GPT-4 leads to superior zero shot performance on new tasks. Okay. So we can say show more like starred. So it shows similar papers, related papers, right? Now you can go to outcomes measured. You know, here it is zero shot performance on new tasks. Uh, here it is zero shot performance on unseen tasks, performance on 25 evaluated tasks. So these were the outcomes of this particular papers. Okay, performance on a wide variety of benchmarks for the Bloom paper. 
so these are the kind of uh, you know summaries or literature summary outcomes which you can extract using this tool you can also do a lot of other tasks like uh, you know summary generation uh, rephrasing of a sentence in different words abstract summarization right uh, primary task is literature review which is elicit recommended or brainstorm research questions right so th these are the primary tasks okay so maybe i'll try out this brainstorm research questions let's see if it works mm, it takes some time to instantiate that particular task let's wait for it okay a topic question or research direction okay large language models and hallucination let's see what comes up okay uh, let's see what kind of research questions can come up based on this particular topic let's wait for that till generating okay so here do perceptions of hallucinated speakers change when familiar voices okay that's not what i wanted i wanted this yeah what are limitations of existing models what is hallucination how difficult is it to make models that are large enough for use in production of text or images how does a large language model hallucinate across different domains interesting what are the challenges in creating machine translation this thing okay so maybe this is good right so if i show more like start let's see what gets generated so what i understand is that it makes use of uh, you know semantic similarity to come up with this, this thing um, so how do hallucinated large uh, language models compare to human natural language production in their depth and breadth yeah so it generates these research questions okay so let's go back to elicit and uh, if you look at the faqs okay so it makes use of models like gpt3 to automate part of researchers workflow currently it is literature review but you also have other tasks which can be done okay and you can use it to finding papers to cite uh, you know defining research directions you can find initial leads for papers answer questions and get perfect scores on exams right so you can use it for these various uh, purposes and how is it different from other research tools um, it finds relevant papers even if they don't match keywords for example uh, it might return papers about meditation even if your query only mentioned mindfulness it combines the breadth of semantic similarity with the precision of keyword matching uh, it can create summaries of abstracts specific to the query automatically search forwards and backwards in the citation graph to find more relevant papers right uh, it customizes what you see about the paper and organizes papers by that information you can filter based on study type you can also save and export the work okay so this is how they say that their workflow works basically you enter a research question and it makes use of either flant t5 model or gpt3 instruct and other kind you can look up over here so i hope this short video on elicit is useful for you if you are a researcher please try out this tool Otherwise, also you can try out this tool for your research questions or you want to find out topics related to papers and so on. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.